Hello, hello, hello to all of my wonderful Geminis. I hope you all are having a great day, Geminis. I know you are. What do we know about our Geminis before I get into your reading, Geminis? Besides the fact that Gemini are air signs and are also mutable signs, Geminis are lively people, very energetic people, very versatile and intellectual. You all live primarily in your mind rather than in your emotions, and you are extremely adaptable to new situations. Your ruling planet is Mercury. Uh-huh. Yes. Your polar opposite sign is the Sagittarius. Your lucky day is Wednesday and your lucky numbers are 5 and 9 Your magical birth zone Hi. I'll put that down in the description bar I think you all know what it is Your special color is yellow, bright and luminous The color of novelty Geminis are just awesome people, really. Just some wonderful, very smart, very intellectual, very powerful people, right? Your animal ruled by Gemini, uh, ruled by Gemini is brightly colored birds and butterflies. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Brightly colored birds and butterflies. So if that's something that you're drawn to, Gemini, that's why. Because that is, those are the animals ruled by Gemini. And then also, your symbol are the twins associated with duality, humanism, versatility, and communication. And what do people like most about my Geminis? Geminis are very responsive people. Let's get into your reading, Gemini. Most high God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my Geminis as it relates to all areas of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, also in areas of money and wealth, also in areas of spirituality and where they need to take action, and also in areas of creativity and emotions. What information do we have for my Geminis? Yes. Yes, yes. What information do we have for my wonderful Geminis? Wonderful Geminis. What information do we have for my wonderful Geminis? Yes, 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 Geminis. What do we have? Oh, okay, Geminis. A lot of major arcanas here. We have the Lovers card, the Sun card, the Emperor card, the Devil card. Let's put these up here for a second. Some of you are in... An unhealthy situation, either with yourself, this is the devil card, or with someone else, right? Yes, yes, yes. Let's put this here. But it's all going to end well for you, so don't even worry. You're going to be shining again, illuminated, lots of prospects. I see all these wonderful things. So listen, some of you all, first of all, are in an unhealthy relationship with yourselves. That's first, because if you were not it would not be so hard to disconnect from, you wouldn't be in such fear and doubt of disconnecting from somebody that you're in a relationship with. So it starts with self. Let's start this here first. So the lover's card is attached to, this is the Gemini's card, the lover's card, right? And the reason why I start out by saying you have an unhealthy connection with yourself, because as you ascend and you love yourself harder and deeper, unhealthy attachments drop off by default. You start looking at things differently, but because you all are mutable signs, you'd rather get along with people than get it on with people. And so you don't always have to get it on with people in the sense that you seem like you are um, difficult to deal with um, because you would rather get along with people, right, Gemini? But this is about you loving yourself deeper and harder first. That's first and foremost. Because if another person in your life is not loving you deeper and harder, they don't deserve to be in your energy space. You see? So that's the first thing here. This is about loving yourself deeper and harder. And removing... Okay. Here, here's the boundaries that you set, Gemini. You decide what the ideal love of self looks like first. That's first and foremost. Then you treat, you teach others how to treat you, whether that's romantic love, family love, whatever. So either those people are going to abide by those boundaries and rules you set for yourself, or they won't be in your life for long. And that is the point, right? You only want high vibrating energy around you. You know why? Because what it looks like, first of all, you all are flexible, you're outgoing, you're funny, enthusiastic, smart, versatile. You're very gentle people. You're, um, you're curious, you're adaptable. You have an ability to learn quickly and exchange ideas, right? 
But with this unhealthiness around you, it will cause you to look like, feel like you're very anxious about things, bad decision-making skills, lack of direction. Um, it can make you seem like you're superficial or even a backstabber, right? That's what poor energy around you, vibrating, low vibrating energy feels like around you. This emperor card is attached to the Aries, right? So the Aries, um, at their highest vibration, fantastic people. This emperor card is directly attached to the Aries. Let's see if I can bring this in closer. Attached to the Aries, right? So some of you may have Aries somewhere in your chart. You want to take your chart, uh, check your natal chart. And I actually have a link in my about section of my page if you want to check your natal chart um, and what website to go to for that. But Aries have very strong leadership. Um, they're very deeply spiritual people, right? And they know how to take action. They have amazing self-confidence. They're positive. They're brave. They're creative, courageous, determined, confident, enthusiastic, optimistic, honest, passionate, all the things that you are, right? There's something in you that feels like you need to take action. I need you to dig into that Aries part of you, Gemini, and I need you to take action, like take action. I'm not saying, ne I'm not saying necessarily cut people off. Because when you set boundaries for yourself, of those people will fall off. People that's not on the same frequency as you. And look at this. You have tons of prospects. The types of people that deserve to be in your space because of how deep and hard you love yourself, right? No more emotionally wounded where money is attached or just emotionally wounded, period. Because we know money is simply a resource, just like people in time, right? So we don't put too much emphasis on money. You don't have to. When you love yourself deeper and harder and you set those boundaries, all those things will come. The money, the people, more time, all of that. Again, those three major resources, right? All of that will come as a result of you loving yourself deeper and harder. So you don't need to do anything. You don't have to cut people off. They will fall off just because you love yourself deeper and harder. You see what I'm saying, Gemini? You don't even have to cut people off. They will fall off on their own because you have now set very healthy boundaries. I need you to tap into this emperor energy in you. I need you to do it immediately, Gemini, because this is you getting to pure, unadulterated happiness. Pure, pure joy on the inside. You don't have to have people around you that are, just don't serve a higher purpose. Some people just don't deserve to go where you're going because they're just not ready. They could not handle the blessings on your life. So they don't need to be there. Why would you want them around anyway? Keeping you emotionally wounded. Not only that. Mm -mm. Look, not only that. Keeping people around that keeps... Um, that cause you to vibrate at a lower frequency. You don't know who to trust. You don't know who the good people are and who the bad people are. Lots of temptations around you. But see this snake right here? Let me see if I can get in real close. See this snake right here? And see how this person looks? This is you trying to figure out who can I trust around me? That's because when you have low vibrating energy around you, you don't know who to trust. And they're pulling from all areas of you, right? So you don't know who to trust. You, you just kind of like... I don't know if I can trust this person. You can't trust the good people because you don't know who the good people are. You don't know who the bad people are. But I'm telling you, all you have to do, first of all, because you have some wonderful things in your, you have, and it's coming quicker than you think. You're anticipating some, some progress in your life and it's actually happening quicker than you think. This is that fire energy. This is that wands energy here. Let me put this here for just a second. These prospects and all these wonderful things happening for you will come very, very quick. Matter of fact, your twin flame is coming into your life. Remember, your, your twin flame is you first, right? But you need to get all the, the crud and all the cobwebs and all that and not be fearful. It's actually coming quicker than you realize. This right here, this cup's energy is in the Cancer Pisces Scorpio, right? That's in the Cancer Pisces Scorpio range. Remember, we're talking about your, your polar opposite sign is a Sagittarius, so you don't have to worry about it because this person is in the Cancer Pisces Scorpio somewhere in their chart. This is the person that's for you right here. Not all of this unhealthiness. Yeah, because you don't know who to trust, right? You, you're just like, oh my God. You know, I have these people around me. I want to be in a new relationship with somebody, but I don't know who to trust because I've been so wounded. I've been so emotionally wounded. But guess what you've been doing? You've been investing in yourself, right? 
And so your roots are so deep in your investment in yourself. You're starting to see the fruits of your labor. See, see those deep roots right there. And look, let me pull this up some and see, you starting to see the fruits of your labor. This is a result of you investing in yourself. So you don't have to be, you worry about being emotionally wounded anymore because now you're creating legacy wealth for yourself legacy wealth for you your children and the the people that you'll never meet right because you'll be in another dimension when they're born right but you're setting it up right now no more emotional wounding look at this the king of wands mm -hmm. right so this person could also have this again this is a part of who you are right you're a natural leader you're a visionary you're an entrepreneur you're very powerful you're bold you're inspiring you're dramatic right this is again you tapping into that fire in you see this lion standing behind this person this is you tapping into that right you really really tapping into that yep and like i said that person could also have aries in their chart right yes 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 we need to remove all devil energy from around you. And when I mean devil energy, I'm talking about people presenting themselves as being kind and gentle and generous and that, but they just have a heart of stone, like a, uh, I won't even say black stone because I know how powerful black stones are, crystals, like the onyx, the obsidian, those, those, the black tourmaline, those are very, very powerful healing stones. But we're talking about like coal, this person doesn't have a heart. They smile. They seem to be this nice person on the outside, but internally they are just not. They are not on the same frequency you, as you, and they don't have your best interest in, at heart. Beautiful uncaging. This is a beautiful uncaging of your heart. The number 14. Mm -mm -mm, I love it. One plus four is five. So right now, five represents a, this being a very pivotal time in your life. That's why I said it's going to happen very soon for you. And this is going to be you spinning in the sun happy, pure, getting all that good energy. The sun is attached to the Leo, right? Um, that lion energy, that fire, right? So, you know, we have the fire signs. We have the the, the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We know your polar opposite sign is a Sagittarius. So somebody in the Sagittarius um, that has Sagittarius in their chart would not necessarily align with the Gemini in you. Um, however, like I said, this is fire energy, right? This is the, your twin flame coming into your life as a result of all the things. This is about you loving yourself deeper and harder. So this is not just about releasing or ascending higher so that uh, romantic interest can fall off. We're talking about family members. We're talking about platonic friends. We're talking about colleagues. We're talking about period. This is about loving yourself deeper and harder and just seeing this beautiful uncaging of your heart right? Because as long as you keep devil energy around you, you're in bondage. That's what I have for you, Gemini. Have a great day. I know you will. Bye.